Hello, ye merry gentlemen. Welcome. My name is Jacob the Bard, and this is... Oh, and the bearded one. Yes, the bearded <laughs> one of Legend's Tale, much like we'll do today as we partake in an adventurous game of Once Upon a Time. I'd like to point out the instructions say she. She will do this, and she will do that. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's not for men. There's two decks of cards. I don't know the difference. Okay. Okay, we got our nine cards. Nine cards. I can look at them? Yes, they're yours. Look at And then we each get a secret ending that only we know. And that's kind of how you win the game, if you can play your ending. Ah, it's going to be hard. Yeah, because you got to make stories up. Let's see what my ending is. Oh, it says, it's not like categories. It just says on the side. Oh, but it does say things like that. So the different colors, do they indicate, like, place or something or something? Yeah. There's things, events, uh, aspects, and, you know, characters. And, you know, you can basically talk as much as you want, as long as the other player doesn't mess with you. There's, there's game stuff. You interrupt people. And the rule my mom and I were not following is you gotta at least... One card has to at least be a sentence. So once you've played cards, can you reference them again in your story? I mean, I guess they kind of exist in the story now. Yeah, but it's already on the table. Yeah. I'm going to flip this over and whoever most looks like. It's someone arguing. Neither of us really look like that. Um, what about when I get mad? That's true. Do you know, what You're about, pretty ugly like that. I can look like the other person. That big flow here. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, you get to start the story. So, and do I just keep going, or house? You say, once upon a time, and then you choose a card to start with. Okay. Or you can start talking, and then if your card is in there, you play it. Uh, this is hard. This, yeah. is like, this is like talking. It's just like, it sounds like, well, that would be easy. You can just tell a story, and then you're like, you're like, hmm. Once upon a time... I was walking down the road. Should it be first person? Does it matter? Because if I'm telling the story, or should it be about people that aren't me? If you're going to be the main character, then that's how it's going to be. Okay, then I won't be the main character. <laughs> um, um, once upon a time, a gentleman was walking down the road. When he came... No, I didn't down the road. Um, suddenly, he tripped and stumbled over a beggar who was sitting there. The man looked quite sad, and he said, Oh, dear, poor beggar, what has become of you these days? And he says, Well, uh, I used to be a fortunate young boy with a nice family, uh, but one day my brother uh, disappeared from our household. Um, they say that he was captured by an evil dragon. Um, an evil dragon, you say, the gentleman asked, in some amount of disbelief. And yes, an evil dragon, as it were. Uh, where is this dragon, he said. Well, if you go out beyond the swamp, everyone knows the endless swamp of endless depth. Apparently, deep inside, farther than any man has charted, there is a tower. A tower, you say? The gentleman asked, what sort of tower? Well, in this tower, where the dragon once stood, is where my sibling may be. Um, he who kept the dragon still lives, and he is a wicked man. Uh, he is known as the Dragon Razor and Slayer. Dragon Razor and Slayer, you say? Yes. Dragon Razor and Slayer. <laughs> if he brings a dragon that captures people for him, and then he kills the dragon and uses the captured people with an axe that he lends them but keeps them in a separate room, he, they use the axe to cut up the dragons for their meat, which he sells to dark, evil, other wicked people that like to eat it. How do you know all this? the gentleman asked. Well, I have visited this place before myself, 
but I haven't been able to get through the door because I lacked the key. I could only see my brother outside the gates toiling, and I wish I could go help him. Uh, well, the gentleman said, I happen to be a key manufacturer. And they went to his place and welded a skeleton key and ran through the swamp up to the tower. <laughs> I feel like I'm building up the tower. Well, they haven't got to the tower. They've gone through the swamp to the tower okay. where the key will be used and they unlock the door. And then how do they get to the top? Well, that, that I'm not sure. So I have to have a reason. How, what would they use to get up the tower? Well, you see, the key maker made a ladder out of keys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, I mean, if I don't have a card, can you just take over? Or do I just share? They don't use stairs. It's not an interrupt card, but I was trying to get you to say stairs. <laughs> okay, so should I? Should I pass it to you? You don't have any more cards, and you're going to ramble on to get to your finish. So, I would assume I'd have to say, hey, you're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For my rules, house rules, five cards. You didn't play your end, and you used all your cards. Because I couldn't figure a way to interrupt you. <laughs> Alright, at the door, the keymaker says, we must part ways here. We must do this journey alone. Go and rescue your brother. As he enters the building, he's confronted by stairs immediately. There's no room on the bottom floor. Stairs. As he goes up the stairs, he's confronted by a large door. Luckily, it's not locked. He enters in this room. In that room is a cook. Cooking up dragon meat. For the wicked man sails, as he were. He demands to know where his brother is. The cook just stares at him. He demands again, where is my brother? The cook finally says, I will reveal to you the location of your brother, but first you must do something for me. What is that, fair cook of dragon meat? Well, you see, I've got to crush on the god who stands out in front of your brother's room. In fact, one might say, he has stolen my heart. <laughs> so what is it that I must get to you um, from this god? Well, the cook said, flipping a dragon burger on the grill, ah, what I would like for you is to find out his secret. His secret, you say, yes. I hear he has a secret about me. If you do that, get his secret and tell me. I'll lure him away so you can save your brother. So, the guy who's the, the, the beggar is the one in the tower, right? Because the other guy, the keymaker, left me. Okay. So, he went up to the god who said, Halt there! Stop! Oh, do not stop me. I come from a place of love. One desires to know your secret. My secret, the guard says, completely oblivious to his duties, which would have him guarding the store, talking to a stranger in the building. Yes, I am a friend of the cook's, he says, reassuring all those things I just explained. And she believes you know a secret about her. Well, the secret, he said, is I love her. She loves you too, he said, and without needing to go all the way back to the crook, the guard ran to her, arms open and in love. This door, which also was not locked, thankfully, since only one key was made, opened, and inside was the brother cutting up various meats. Oh, my brother, I have returned to... You have returned to me. In this way, I have not talked to you. So, should I not use that card? I feel like I should fail at some point, because I feel like my storytelling <laughs> is just like... Technically, you shouldn't have been able to interrupt me, because it wasn't the same color, but I allowed it. Oh, it has to be the same color. Yeah, for those cards. Okay, we can back the story up. See, I'm learning. No, that's fine. Ah, sure. Because, I mean, 
You could have used it if I said it. You revealed what the brother was. Oh, well, that's what I thought, though. Oh, so he, you have to say it. ask him, but he didn't say it. But that's fine. I assume you're passing now. Cause you're yeah, I'm <laughs> going to pass. And I guess I'll hang out of this car because that didn't really work. Then leaving the door unguarded to suppose the room where the brother is. Okay. But we don't know that. Yeah, well, I sort of said that, but then we don't, <laughs> I don't have any direct claiming it. So I'll take five more cards, right? Or just one card. House rule. Well. Because I technically have this one card. I guess just one. I'm not even close to my <laughs> secret. Um, he pulls the doors open. Yeah. Because it's strong. Pulls the doors open. He finds his brother. He's hurt. And he's chained to a wall. Injured. Starving. He runs to his brother to check on him. When he notices someone else is in the room. A prince. A prince demands that he's freed. Because this is his kingdom, and he should be freed first. But he ignores him, goes to his brother. The prince says, you'll regret that. Curses him. That's right. <laughs> He's an evil prince. That's what makes sense why he was there to buy a dragon, evil dragon. <laughs> In fact, he was the prince of thieves! <laughs> Good, then. Yes, he was the prince of thieves. Well, who shall I f shall I free the prince or my brother? Um, the prince could offer me many riches, being the prince of thieves. However, he heard footsteps coming up the stairs. The guard had returned, <laughs> or was on his way to having returned. He said, "I must act quickly," and he freed the prince. He freed the prince instead of his brother. Why would he do this? It turns out the prince was his other long lost Whoa. thing, one that had almost been forgotten by time. And as they ran out, leaving the other brother, oh, what? They went all the way back to their folks' house through the swamp and through the tower. Damn it, I did this wrong. <laughs> and the parents were reunited with their long lost child. Uh, I guess I didn't do that very well. I mean, if I was going to rethink it, or if I lost, or whatever, I would have had it so that he realized the prince had been there since he was a young boy. Then that would have happened, but... This is a tough game. <laughs> you going to allow it, or I got to pull it back, take five more cards? Um, I'm going to take a new ending. I do? Yeah. Because it didn't work? Yep. Okay. And then do I take cards as well? Yeah. It's... How many? Let's just do five. Okay. I'm going to stick with that uh, he escaped with his third brother, the Prince of Thieves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they I left should, the other brother behind. You could say it was his son instead, though. It's too late. It's right. I forgot that he had cursed him. but now <laughs> So now he doesn't curse him. He's, no, he's still cursed. Okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. His story's going somewhere. They escaped far away from the tower, the town of the thieves, thieves town. What was it called? Not very, not a very good name. Everyone knows just thieves live there. And he says, "Brother, why don't you lift the curse?" He says, "It won't be that easy. It will not be that easy, you piece of shit." <laughs> Remember, he is a bad prince. So he challenges him to a contest. If you beat me in this contest, of will I will lift the curse? And he says, "What is the contest? It involves tiny horses." <laughs> I said, "Okay, what do we do with tiny horses?" I'm gonna pass it to you now. What do we do with <laughs> tiny horses? Well, some of the tiny horses are sad. Some of the tiny horses are frightened. This is because they know that you and I are an enemy of the tiny horses. Our objective in this contest 
is to kick as many tiny horses as you can. He who kicks the largest number of tiny horses will win. But the brother was confused. I freed you, and you've cursed me, and you tell me this is in relation to my curse, you say. Well, yes, he says. For if I win, I will transform into a wolf and eat you. But if you win, you will transform into a frog and hop away. I still do not see how this lifts the curse, he said. But regardless, they went through the tiny horse kicking contest, booting around one another. But it turned out that the contest ended in a tie. They both kicked the same number of tiny horses. <laughs> what happens now, brother, he says. Well, what I had planned would happen all along. The curse in a sense, disappeared. <laughs> we'll pass it to you. Okay. So it was a tie. Yes. <laughs> but one of the tiny horses, who was very brave, decided to attack the prince. As the tiny horse was attacking the prince, he was hitting him with his tiny little hooves. I mean, these are tiny, tiny horses. This is not a miniature horse. I'm yeah. Super tiny Yeah, no, horse. I know that. He was biting and snapping at him, and the prince couldn't do anything about it. He was trying to swat it away, but the horse just kept coming. Finally, the brother comes in and smacks the horse, kicking it. While the contest was over, he has officially kicked more horses. But the horse could fly. It started attacking the prince's face. Violently, the brother rushed in, saved him. Can you interrupt me? Can't. <laughs> and he rushed in and saved him, and the brother said, For saving my beautiful face, I will lift the curse. The spell is broken. His beautiful face! Oh, <laughs> you are very welcome, said the brother, that this glyph is now lifted, lifted. And in addition to that, I will also kill my child. And then I will kill myself. How will you kill yourself? The brother asked. I will drink a potion that the town witch has crafted. And once I have drunk that by nightfall, I will be dead. And you can take my crown. And all of this happened and so the beggar was excited. He was going to be king, and he went to take the crown. However, the crown was no longer there, nor was the prince. And no matter how hard they searched, they, being he and the keymaker, his friend, could never find it again. <laughs> Does that work, or is that not work? Sure. I was literally reading. I know, but I had beautiful, I and I was like, oh, he said beautiful. I was just trying Damn to... Damn it. <laughs> and then I got fucking kitchen. So how am I going to interrupt you with kitchen? Oh. Wait, how would you... Oh, were you trying to... I was trying to figure out way to interrupt you. Yeah. Oh, because you had to draw... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still a little shaky on just drawing cards at the right times, but yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> that was once upon a time. That was once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, the end. <laughs>